and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo. Welcome to Melissa Talks Money. I'm going to talk today about something that you probably think is not related to money, and yet it is. I'm going to talk about leap year. So right now, 2020 is a leap year. This is something that comes about every four years. So what does that mean? It means there's one extra day in the month of February. And the significance of that is one, it's very early in the year. And two, it's happening in 2020. And 2020 alone is a very significant year. So some people think that astrology, numerology is silly or crazy or whatever you want to think. But when you think about it, point in fact, what is money? Money is about numbers. Okay, one plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. So you cannot ignore numbers or numerology when it comes to money and finance. Very, very, very important. And there is a spiritual aspect to that. So this year particularly, I think, is a year of growth for many, many people. Not only because it's 2020, but also because it happens to be a leap year. And in a few days, it's going to be leap day, which is February 29th, which is Saturday. And again, I think there's significance to that as well because it's on a weekend. I'm gonna read something to you here if you just wanna to listen to this for a moment. Many numerologists also believe that because the 29th of February is such a rare vibration, it causes a type of ripple effect within us. This ripple, of, this ripple almost creates an opportunity, that's a, very, that's a very good word, for us to leap forward in this moment in time and play catch up in our own lives. Wow, that is unbelievably true. What do I mean by that? I mean like things like where you're procrastinating or you haven't taken care of something or you, you don't, you have a to-do list. Like I, I have like, I love those stickies, like the, those little yellow stickies. Like I have a million of them. <laughs> All over there was to put a sticky of this thing, this thing, today, tomorrow, the weekend. This is, you know, this is about playing catch up. Exactly what that just said. Gosh, is that for real? Okay, let me get back to this here. A leap day allows us extra time, which is so important. What is money and time? They're so, they're so intertwined. A leap day allows us extra time to get things done. And this creates a vibrational impact in the dimension of time in the universe, of which we're a part of. Before the clock was invented, a long, 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 long time ago, by the way, the ancients not only looked to the sun and the stars for guidance, but they also viewed synchronistic events as the way the universe communicated movements in time. These synchronistic events included seeing messages in nature and the behavior of animals. We all love animals. In the tides of the ocean and also in the wind. And with this leap in time that is given to us this year in February, it is important to observe any synchronicities that occur and whether they can provide to you clues about your own path of awakening and purpose. This is especially important if you are trying to make sense of what energy February 29th has in store for you. As nature and the world around us are always, always a mirror to our own experiences. Boy, is that true. And that gets back to the topic of manifestation, which we'll talk about another time. Uh, walking through February 29th is almost like walking through a rare portal that is only accessible to us every four years. Why? Because each of our lives are unique. Each of our lives' experiences are unique and different, okay? That's what makes us great to be alive. To most, it may just feel like an extra day, but if you challenge yourself to open your awareness and think about the deeper rhythm and flow of time in this universe, you may just be able to tap into a new energy within your own soul. From an astrological perspective, it is interesting that a leap day falls in the sign of the Pisces. Now, I don't know how many of you are Pisces or born a Pisces, and again, I... I don't follow all that astrological stuff, but you know, sometimes it, 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 it can be interesting, quite frankly. The energy and essence of Pisces is truly about connecting with a deeper consciousness, emotions, and spirituality. Love my consciousness, love my emotions, love my own spirituality. I tap into that every single day in reference to the market. Having another day to enjoy 
And the vibration of Pisces almost seems like the universe's way of reminding us about the importance of consciousness and our own spiritual advancement. Shoo! And that's where the thing about 2020, that is exactly what I'm talking about. 2020, it's, it's, it's moving forward in your own consciousness. It's moving forward physically in your own lives, but first in your mind and in your spirit. It's, you know, I mean, this is, I'm describing myself a little bit here, but basically, I mean, the way in an ideal world of what I would see it is where very often, and, and my personal friends, my family, people that know me, like my spirit jumps, my spirit will jump a thousand yards ahead of what actually is reality. And, and, and it's sometimes it's hard for people to keep up with me or relate to me or even understand what I'm talking about because my spirit is so far ahead of, of like my physical reality, but that's what moves your physical reality ahead. So actually it's a good thing, but sometimes it, it, it can really make me exhausted, quite frankly. To make best use of the energy of a leap day, try bringing awareness to something that you wish to leap forward with you in your own life. And that could be your finances. That could be moving to a different home, a different location, a different city, a different state, a different country. It could be getting involved in a new relationship, meeting new people. It could be a new job. And it definitely, definitely could be making more money in 2020. And not only that, having bigger goals. You know, and again, I'm not talking about myself now. I'm talking about just regular people, people that I meet, that I talk to, people that are clients, people that are prospective clients, people that are family and friends. I can't believe how uh, how small people think. I People don't have big dreams anymore. I don't know why. But 2020, and specifically a leap year, and specifically Saturday, all day Saturday, you should be thinking big things. In fact, this is my challenge to you. This is a leap year challenge. All day, from the time you wake up in the morning, whatever that is, wherever you live on the planet on Saturday, until the time you go to bed on Saturday night, I want you to think completely unrealistic. I want you to have the biggest dreams you've ever had in your life. I want you to think and believe that things are possible, that are positive, wonderful, fabulous things for you that you might normally think are unrealistic or impossible or crazy. I want you to leap into your future as if it's there, as if the only effort that it takes for you to go to that place is you thinking it and imagining it and feeling it and living it for one whole day. So my challenge to you, my leap year challenge to you is get up in the morning on Saturday and from the time you're awake and from the time you go to bed, you're going to believe and think that all these amazing, wonderful, fabulous things are going to happen to you in 2020. Whether it happens to be love, relationships, money, finances, trading, the market, your family, your health, your, your, your where you live, anything, everything you could possibly think of. Don't think realistically. Don't think about blah, 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 blah. Think from the time you wake up in the morning on that specific day. February 29th, until the time you put your head in the pillow. I want you to think of everything you've ever dreamed and everything you've ever wanted and the greatest things in the world and things that seem impossible are going to happen to you this year. I want you to feel them and manage them and live like you. they are coming your way right now, any second, on that day, on Saturday, February 29th, for 2020. Not, not after 2020, 2020. Okay, let's get back to this Pisces thing. The energy and essence of Pisces is truly about connecting with our deeper consciousness, emotions, and spirituality. Having another day to enjoy the vibration of Pisces almost seems like the universe's way of reminding us about the importance of consciousness and our own spiritual advancement. To make best use of the energy of a leap day, try bringing awareness to something that you wish to leap forward with in your life. Oh my God, I didn't even read that in there. I just said it. <laughs> That is funny. Well, that then you then exactly what I said. But you have to live in all day on the 29th, on the leap day. Assess where you would like to create more time and energy for something and send your intentions out into the universe. It's more than sending your intentions. It's actually feeling it as if it's already occurred. Those who are sensitive to the energy of a leap day should do grounding rituals, which which is important to it to do every day. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go get this bowl here. Hold on, let me do this for you. I think this will be good to do at the end of every 
podcast just 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 for grounding about what I said. For those of you that don't know, this is a chakra bowl. Uh, let me just think for a minute. Let's just take a couple seconds here right now while you're listening to this, and let's think of three things. I know it's not Saturday yet. But let's let's start thinking about it. And by by Saturday, you should have thirty things. But let's just think of three things here, right off the top of our head, that we want to manifest for ourselves for twenty twenty to leap into. From Saturday, we're going to leap right into it. Saturday. Let's just take a, a moment of silence here and think of three things. I'm going to do it, and you're going to do it right now. That's it. I got three things. I'm sure I'll come up with more by Saturday. So let's ring the ball. Okay, good luck, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful leap day.